Hello everyone, Melissa Hernandez here, celebrity makeup artist. Today I'm gonna be doing this really classic holiday makeup look. It's perfect for a holiday work party, a night on the town, any event. It's such a classic look. I'm gonna be going over red lipsticks, what the difference is between a warm red and sort of a more cool toned red. So if you love this look, keep on watching. Today I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I love this foundation. It comes in a matte version and a dewy version. Today I'm using the matte version because this is a holiday look. I want it to last all night. I want it to look amazing. So here we go. I'm in the shade 228. And I'm just gonna pick it up on like a fluffy sort of kabuki brush. And I always like to start at the jawline because the jawline is like the closest part to your neck. So that's how I determine whether it's a close match. So I'm gonna start at the jawline. And that looks undetectable. So I'm gonna keep blending upwards. And then I just pick up more product as I need it. And as you can see, I'm using sort of like stippling motion. So I like press it into my skin and then sort of bounce just to make sure that everything looks seamless. So whenever I apply foundation, I always like to go in with a really light layer first, all over the face, and then once I'm done, I like to go back and sort of reassess and see where I need a little bit more coverage. Now that I've applied a light layer all over, I'm just gonna check out my skin and see if I need to add a little bit more coverage. I have a little bit of um, hyperpigmentation here, so I am gonna go in with a little bit more in that area. Same on the other side. I feel like that looks pretty good. To conceal my under eye circles and blemishes here and there, I'm using the Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 25 medium. When I apply concealer, I don't like to go right underneath the lash line because I feel like that's where most of us have fine lines and if you put a ton of product there, it's likely gonna crease. Do you guys see how I have like this little shadow down here? I'm going to apply it right in that area. And then I have a little bit of discoloration right here, so I'm gonna apply a little bit right there. Same thing over here, I have a shadow right here, and if it helps, you can tilt down to sort of see where you need that coverage. So I'm gonna go right in there, and then right on the outer corner. Now I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna start diffusing the edges. I'm working the product downward into my cheek, and then I'm just going upwards to cover that discoloration. I really like this concealer because it provides beautiful coverage, but it like always looks like natural skin. It doesn't look cakey at all. So do you guys see that flawless under eye? So now that I've concealed my under eyes, I'm just going to take a peek at my skin. I have a little tiny blemish here, so I'm gonna just tap there. And I'm gonna cap a little bit on the side of my nose. I'm just going to press that in with my ring finger. For this area, I am gonna use my brush. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna take my ring finger and just sort of press that concealer into the skin so that everything sort of like meshes together and it looks like skin. I feel like the warmth of your fingertips will really help melt the product in so that it's like soaked into your skin as opposed to like sitting on top of your skin. To set my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. I'm obsessed with this. It gives the most beautiful highlighted under eye while still looking natural. So I'm gonna take a little bit on a dry sponge. I'm just going to sort of apply, like press that right underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna look up and really press that in. And look at that difference. This looks like nice and highlighted and airbrushed and you can still sort of see that like tired eye here. Before you set your under eye, you wanna make sure that there are no creases underneath your eyes. Blend out any lines before you set it. Just pressing that in, getting on the sides of the nose, 
And then with whatever's left over, I'm gonna hit the chin and then the center of the forehead. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This is in the shade 230. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, sort of swirl it around, and then I'm just gonna lightly brush it all over my face. If you're someone who is a bit more oily, I would use a denser brush. I don't really want a lot of coverage right now. This is just more so gonna help the foundation stay in place all day. But if you're someone who wants a little bit more coverage or someone who is a bit more oily, then make sure to use a brush like this that's flat and then you would just stamp it into your face. To add some warmth and dimension to my skin, I'm gonna be using the City Bronzer. This is in the shade 200. I really, really love this bronzer, specifically the shade 200, because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. The way I like to apply this is by picking up the bronzer on a big, fluffy cheek brush. I like to make like a kissy face, or you can like really suck your cheeks in. And when you do that, you can sort of see the shadow, like where the shadow starts. But if for whatever reason you don't see the shadow or you don't know how to spot it, a good guideline is always starting like right in the center of your ear. And then you wanna follow that guideline to the edge of the lip. And then I'm just going to lightly sweep that. And then I always like to start with a little bit of product and then build once I get the placement that I want. My rule of thumb is it's easier to add than it is to remove. I live by those words. So you can see that we have a nice sculpted cheek. We have a little bit of definition. I'm also gonna go along the jawline and sort of sweep it all over. I'm also going to go not really like along the perimeter of my forehead, more so like where the temples are and then blend whatever's left over to the top of my forehead. Next, I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna pick up more of that bronzer. I'm gonna like lightly contour my nose, not really contour, more so just warm it up so that everything looks nice and balanced. So um, I like to start at the tip of the nose, so I just like brush back and forth. And then I'm going to very lightly, using like almost no pressure at all, um, I'm gonna sweep a little bit of that color on the on the sides of the nose and sort of brush it into the brow. If you ever feel like, whoa, that's too much color, you can always take your foundation brush, just lightly press it over the nose just to sort of diffuse and really melt that color. Next, I'm going in with the Fit Me blush. This is in the shade Rose. It's like such a pretty pink. I really love this color. Um, I'm just picking it up with that same brush that I use to bronze. And I'm gonna place it like right on the apple of my cheek and then blend it back. So I'm gonna press it here and then blend it back into sort of the high point of my cheek. It has like a really beautiful sort of radiant finish. It's so pretty. And then just to balance out the look, I'm taking the tiniest bit and sort of brushing it right over the bridge of my nose. Since this is a holiday party, you know I have to go in with the highlight. This highlighter, chef's kiss. This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Gold. I'm picking it up on a little brush. If you have trouble finding where the high point of your cheek is, it's right up here, but if you have trouble, what you wanna do is sort of tilt your head and you'll see that if you have like lights above you, they'll sort of like bounce right in that area. And you wanna place that like right there. So you're just going to brush, and I'm just gonna put it right on the high point there. Going on the other side, again, just tilting my head. You can kind of even almost see the highlight here. So that's where you wanna place the highlighter. You can also take a tiny bit on your ring finger. This is optional. Um, and place a little bit down the bridge of the nose. I will say be mindful if you have any blemishes when using highlighter because the highlighter will accentuate blemishes. Like I have a little tiny guy here. So I'm just gonna take my concealer brush and sort of cover that up. 
Because this is a holiday look, I definitely know I want to do a red lip. And I always love pairing a red lip with like a beautiful classic wings liner. I'm gonna go in with the Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Metallic Nights. It's black and it has like little sort of shimmer specks in it, which is beautiful. And I'm gonna start mapping out the shape that I want. It's important to fully relax your eye. I'm just gonna start sketching out the shape. I'm gonna go with like a pretty heavy wing, but you can adjust like the length and the width. So just take your time, etch away, and then I'll show you guys how to fix mistakes. So now that I sort of mapped out the shape that I want, I know it's not perfect, I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm just gonna sort of start smudging the top line. I'm gonna go in with Master Precise all day liquid eyeliner. And I'm gonna use that right on the lash line. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us like a really nice gradient effect where we have that like metallic-y sort of pencil on the bottom. And then just near the lash line, it's gonna be a little bit more intense. So to get a really sharp, clean line, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Garnier Micellar Water. And I'm literally just gonna dump a little bit on my hand. I'm gonna pick it up on a flat, like a really flat brush here. You can also use a Q-tip. I'm gonna line up the edge of the brush to the liner, clean up that bottom edge. And always make sure to clean your brush in between. And then I'm gonna do the same thing up top. Now that the liner is complete, I'm gonna go in with Curl Bounce Mascara. This mascara is awesome because it has a curved wand. You can really get in like the tear duct area and get tons of volume and curl. So I'm just going through adding a couple coats. After I do mascara, I always like to take a Q-tip, take a close look in the mirror and sort of get any mascara residue. To complete the look, I'm gonna be doing a red lip but I quickly, really quickly wanted to show you guys different options within Maybelline's red lip color choices. First off, we have the Ultimate Lipstick. These are amazing, super matte coverage. They're super easy to apply. And the reason why I wanna show you guys these is because there is a difference when it comes to reds. Some reds are a lot warmer, some are true reds, some have more blue in them. So I just wanted to quickly swatch them so that you guys can get an idea of what a warm red is and what a cool red is. So starting off with the Ultimate Lipstick, this is in the shade More Scarlet. Definitely more of a blue red. And then I'm gonna show you guys the difference between that and More Rust. See how this one is a lot warmer? It has almost a little bit more orange in it, whereas this has a lot more blue in it. Both are beautiful, but it just depends whether you want more of a warm look or more of like a true red. Next, I have the Super Stay Matte Inks. First up, we have the shade Pioneer. Pioneer is similar to the, the first shade here in that it's a lot more cool. And then I'm gonna show you guys the shade Dancer, which is a lot warmer. You can kind of see that the undertones here are a lot warmer, they're more like orangey, whereas these are a lot more like true reds, they're a lot cooler. Next up, we have the Super Stay Vinyl Ink Lipstick. These are amazing. I'm gonna start off with the shade Wicked, but before I apply it, I'm gonna give it a good shake because this is what helps activate that beautiful, shiny finish. So Wicked is the first shade I'm swatching. It's definitely more of a cool red, so it's gonna look similar to shades one and three. Second shade is Red Hot can sort of start distinguishing how these are alike and how they're different. So shades one, three, and five all look similar in that they're sort of more blue reds. And then shades two, four, and six are a lot warmer. Anybody of any skin tone can rock any of these beautiful reds. 
However, uh, from a makeup artist's perspective, I really like seeing warm tones on olive skin tones or sort of like golden skin tones. And as far as the true reds, I think these are beautiful on like neutral skin tones or if you have a little bit more of a cool toned uh, undertone, I think that those would be beautiful. You know, I like an orangey red, but I just live for a true red. So I'm actually going to be using the shade Pioneer today. So let's see how it looks. For today's lip, I'm gonna start by using the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This is in the shade Berry Cherry. And I'm just gonna start right at the Cupid's bow. For my bottom lip, I like to start right in the center. I sort of curl my lip in, and then I connect the corners. Now that I have this rough outline, I'm gonna go in with the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. This is in the shade Pioneer. And I'm gonna go right in the center and just start filling in the lip. Whenever I use these, I like to sort of hold the wand flat to my lip and then use the point of the brush to sort of go over that lip liner. And then I'm gonna turn the brush over and repeat those same steps. One thing about these lipsticks is that they're self-setting. So try to avoid rubbing your lips together or like, like pressing them together. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun holiday makeup tutorial. I'm really curious what your go-to red lip is. I feel like it's a hot topic, so definitely comment down below. And thanks for hanging with me. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday and I hope to be back soon. Bye.